The presence of excess water in the womb during pregnancy, often referred to as polyhydramnios. Polyhydramnios is the condition where there is an abnormally high amount of amniotic fluid surrounding the fetus. This fluid is essential for fetal development, as it protects the baby, allows for movement, and aids in the development of the lungs and digestive system. However, too much amniotic fluid can lead to several risks and complications for both the mother and the fetus. Risks of polyhydramnios. Number 1 Preterm labor and birth. Excess amniotic fluid can cause the uterus to stretch more than usual, leading to premature contractions and an increased risk of preterm labor and birth. Number 2 Premature rupture of membranes, PROM. The excess fluid can increase the pressure on the amniotic sac, causing it to rupture prematurely, which can lead to complications such as infections or preterm labor. Number 3 Placental abruption. This is a condition where the placenta detaches from the uterine wall before delivery which can cause severe bleeding and pose significant risks to both the mother and the baby. Number 4 Fetal malposition. The abundance of amniotic fluid can give the fetus too much room to move, potentially leading to abnormal positioning, such as breech presentation, which can complicate delivery. Number 5 Umbilical cord prolapse. This occurs when the umbilical cord slips into the birth canal before the baby, which can lead to cord compression and decreased oxygen supply to the fetus. Number 6 Increased risk of caesarean section, due to complications such as fetal malposition, and the potential for distress during labor, there may be a chance of caesarean delivery. Causes of polyhydramnios Polyhydramnios can result from various factors, including Number 1 Maternal diabetes Poorly controlled diabetes can lead to excess amniotic fluid. Number 2 Fetal anomalies Conditions affecting the fetal gastrointestinal or urinary systems can impair the fetus's ability to swallow and process amniotic fluid. Number 3 Multiple pregnancies Twins or higher order multiples can increase the risk of polyhydramnios. Number 4 Infections Certain infections during pregnancy can contribute to excess amniotic fluid. Treatments for polyhydramnios the treatment for polyhydramnios depends on the severity and underlying cause. Management strategies may include Number 1 Monitoring Mild cases often require careful monitoring with frequent ultrasounds to track amniotic fluid levels and fetal well-being. Number 2 Amnia reduction In more severe cases, excess amniotic fluid can be drained through a procedure called amnio reduction, which involves using a needle to remove some of the fluid. Number 3 Medications Medications can sometimes be prescribed to reduce fetal urine production and thus decrease amniotic fluid levels. Number 4 Treatment of underlying conditions If polyhydramnios is caused by an underlying condition, such as diabetes, managing that condition effectively can help reduce amniotic fluid levels. Number 5 Early delivery In cases where polyhydramnios poses significant risks to the mother or fetus, early delivery might be recommended. This decision is made based on the gestational age and overall health of both the mother and baby. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update.